Mann schon durch. See his last made it out as David Crow for a spell and things weren't going so well. So I had made up my mind if this crawl don't put out on the next date that I was gonna put a period on a relationship. I mean after all, I'm a fully grown adult and I ain't got time for little childish games like this anymore. Besides the way I see it, if you're shot up and ready to take a girl to a senior prom, you ought to at least be getting to throw a face off of You know, the price of the tickets, flowers, round for the tux. That's a lot of bucks, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, to cut to the chase, the big night arrives, and it's your typical prom itinerary, you know, pick her up around the corner from the house. Drink some wine coolers on the way over. Post for some crown portraits. Dance, drink some spike punts. The whole act, you know what I'm saying? And it was about the Cinderella of chimes when they started putting the chairs on the table. So we head out to the parking lot and proceed to cruise over to the local makeout point. Ah yes, the moment of truth has finally arrived. Nothing. I'm in a little dry peck on the cheek, that's about it. But I don't blow my stack or nothing, I just casually start up the car and proceed to drive her home. We see people, here's where the plot thickens. See, because it, it was all the way home that I remembered Ryan from the uh, Fly Swatters. <laughs> Wanted me an advanced copy of the uh, Fly Swatter CD that they have for sale here tonight. So in an effort to ease the awkward silence, I leaned over, reached into the glove compartment, grabbed the CD, and popped it into the stereo. Well, after about halfway through the second song, this girl starts getting wilder than a jackass sitting on a beehive. Before I knew it, she had my trousers unzipped and was yanking on Cupid's arrow like she was trying to start a goddamn lawnmower, for Christ's sake. So I said to myself, hey, I better pull over to the side of the road before I get in an accident. And that's what I did. chick took to my wood like a suckling, like a suckling to another. And in the heat of the moment, I never even gave it a thought that this girl was wearing braces. By the time she was through with me, my Johnson had looked like it had gone through a garbage disposal for Christ's sake. And that's exactly what I had to tell the doctor in the emergency room, too, because I want to tell you the truth, I don't know how old this girl was, and I don't want to know, we'll just leave it at that, okay? <laughs> but people, the whole time I was waiting to be treated, I couldn't help but wonder what the heck it was that came over this woman that brought on that sudden change of behavior. And the only thing that I could attribute it to was that, well, the, the songs on that CD must have had some sort of sonic endomorphic effect, which acted as some kind of audio aphrodisiac. Now I know this sounds far out and all, but people let me tell you this, every time I play that CD at home, my dog starts humping on my leg, so there must be something to it. So I suggested all you young studs and stallions out there, grab yourself one of these CDs tonight.
do. That was a great show. That was fantastic. Thank you. You like Tom Waits? Tom Waits for no one.